today's April 4th, 2020. We're still in the midst of this COVID-19 pandemic. I'm home this weekend. Instead of being out on, on some adventure somewhere, it could be a lot worse. So I'm not complaining, but what I wanted to do is pull together a quick little video a few weeks back when the restrictions around sheltering in place weren't so stringent. I went out and did a little bit of fly fishing and I had a bead on a hole that was loaded with fish. So I brought my camera along and was gonna shoot some amazing content of me catching all these fish and looking cool and having the epic release of these fish. And what actually unfolded was something quite different. And it goes back to what I was saying in our very first YouTube video, link right here, about filtering our lives. So I'm gonna title this video, the untold truth of fly fishing. So here we go. So I was down here yesterday and this hole is stacked with fish. So I'm gonna set up, see if I can't get a couple out of here. Uh, I had to alternate my plans. So I came down here, walked all the way down. This is way downstream to where I usually fish. Some guy I was rigging up walked up and over me and started fishing this hole. Almost lost my mind, threw a little temper tantrum, but there's bigger problems in this world right now. But we're here now. Let's see if we can get a fish out of here. change of plans as soon as I show up with my nymph rig they start feeding on the surface so I switched over to a dry fly let's see if I can get one So to wrap up this video, there you have it. It's not always, it's not always like what you see on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook. A lot of people are editing their lives these days uh, to even further bolster the point. I broke my reel. 
I broke the drag off. I was straightening out my car after the day and I snapped the, the drag off, the bolt that holds the drag in place. And I, when I called Orvis, unfortunately the shop that repairs these are closed right now due to COVID-19. So I had to buy a whole new reel, but no big deal. The point is don't filter your lives. It goes back to the Oregon video and it holds true today. If you're struggling with what's going on, don't try to put on a brave face on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, reach out, get help. You know, the, we're even more connected now, even though we're disconnected, we're very connected through social media, FaceTime, video conferencing, um, and simply the telephone. So at the end of this, I hope this was a fun video that brightened your day, but at the same time also made you think about the ways in which we go about our lives, particularly in this virtual digital world. So with that said, I'm going to add in here a couple shots of the fish I did catch because the disc obviously ran out of space. Of course, everything went wrong this day, but you know what? I had a great day. And I long for those days and I look forward to the warm days of summer, being on the road, out fishing, not worrying about whether or not I'm wearing a mask or if, if somebody has a cough or something like that. I'll leave it with this. It can only get better, folks. I hope you're well and I hope that we can all come together, stay home and wage the war independently in quarantine against this stupid virus that's that's sweeping through our country and our world right now so with that